I pay her taxes. I have every right to speak about her in particular within her role. I'm not talking about where she lives, what she looks like, anything like that. Nothing personal. This is purely professional and this is purely governmental. Can I continue? Try to keep it professional. I've already told you what I'm doing and I'm making that very clear and I'm not going to change. Keep it professional. I have not. I have only kept this professional. You were debating me and you were violating your own rules. I'm here to talk as a parent. I've got two young boys. Uh, we live in Glendale. And when they come of age, I am deeply concerned about their educational prospects in this city. I'm also a taxpayer. I pay a lot of taxes in this city, many of which go to this district. And I'm deeply concerned about how that money is being spent, particularly, and I'm going to single out a person at the uh, in the school district named uh, Dr. Kelly King, who's sitting right here to my left. Um, Dr. Kelly King makes over $250,000 a year. Every four years, we give her a million dollars. We will be paying for her pension for you know, the duration of her life after she retires. And she's doing things that I completely disagree with. And I think many of the many members of the community would also disagree with. Previous uh, speakers have mentioned the number of Armenians who live in Glendale. How many Armenians would support what she does? Let me discuss what she's doing. Uh, in a recent video in 2017, she reflected Glendale Unified Policy when she stated, and I'm going to quote, uh, we have a lot of resistance from male coaches who are horrified at the thought of having a biological girl changing clothes in front of them. Which biological girls are changing clothes in front of coaches in Glendale Unified? That's a question I'm genuinely asking. She continued, it's not a girl. It's not a girl. It's not a girl. You only have boys in the boys' locker room. She just said it was a so biological may I, girl. May I just stop I'm, for I'm a speaking moment? No, you're not, no, I'm speaking. Uh, I'm interrupting my time. Well, we can, can pause, pause this, the time. Can you pause the time for a minute? I only want to say that to refrain from personal attacks. So she, please. she is a government official. She's a government employee. This is not a personal attack. I pay her, I pay her salary with so, my tax dollars. Again, please talk towards the policies that you I'm are talking against about. and, and if, refrain from personal attacks and your time will continue. Please go ahead. In what way have I personally attacked Dr. King? She is acting within her official role as assistant superintendent at Glendale Unified. How is that a personal attack? I'm talking about tax dollars being used in a way that I disagree with. I'm going to continue. Continue talking about the policy that you disagree with. Dr. King quoted, quoted to say that biological girls were changing in front of male coaches. And then, so she knows it's a biological girl and then proceeded to say, it's not a girl three times. You know, it's a girl, you know, it's a girl. Okay, you know so she's boy, an employee you know of ours, and uh, if you wouldn't mind telling us what policy you dislike. There is, why, why am I being interrupted for speaking about an official member, a superintendent at Glendale Unified, speaking in an official manner? You cannot interrupt me for that. You have no ability to do that. And uh, furthermore, the, the rules stated you won't debate. You're debating me right now. Correct? I'm going to continue. Uh, in discussing uh, 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 permanent records, she states that she keeps permanent records for a handful of trans students literally next to her in her room. She does not indicate that person's uh, gender identity for fear that the parent might find out. Why is she concealing this from parents? She says, we kind of go out on a limb, and we know that's controversial to some people. Which people? Which parents? Armenian parents? Christian parents? Are those the ones who are being excluded from knowledge on their own, on their own children and their own identity in Glendale's unified school district? And you, you preach, you preach inclusive policies. We can talk about that policy. Yet she's excluding parents. Ex so she's again, excluding parents. Um, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. And I might just ask for a pause and ask for information. Maybe I'm mistaken. May I? Can, can you I, pause can the I, time for a moment, Mr. Sahakian? Thanks. So I wouldn't mind getting um, input um, in terms of um, is this. So my understanding, again, is that we we are the arbiters of policy. That is our decision. And so our employees are operating based off of our direction and the direction up here at the dais. So it is appropriate to 
criticize the policy. It is appropriate to question that. It is not appropriate to, to personally attack and denigrate a specific employee. I do not believe that that is covered under, under the public comment. I'm not personally attacking yes, anybody. Yes, you are, sir. No, ma'am, I'm not. I'm not personally attacking her. I disagree with what she said in her role as, super, as assistant so superintendent. So then you disagree with the policy, so please continue with the disagreement of the policy. I am disagreeing with her, and this is not, you are debating me right now. You said you would not debate me. That, Why are you debating me? So you're using that particular thing uh, inappropriately, the fact that we're not, that we don't debate. So I am not please... attacking her personally. This is under her official role as assistant superintendent at Glendale Unified. You are not allowing me to speak freely in a government, in a government entity about a government employee. I pay her taxes. I have every right to speak about her in particular within her role. I'm not talking about where she lives, what she looks like, anything like that. Nothing personal. This is purely professional and this is purely governmental. Can I continue? Try to keep it professional. I've already told you what I'm doing and I'm making that very clear and I'm not gonna change. Keep it professional. I have not, I have only kept this professional. You are debating me and you are violating your own rules. So you Mr. Sahakian, go ahead and open the time again. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Kelly King has worked with Gender Spectrum, an organization which you guys have actually paid money to in several schools. If that's not a conflict of interest, I don't know what is. She's worked with Gender Spectrum to produce gender support plans. In these gender support plans, she uh, ranks parents whether on, on how affirming they are on a scale of zero to 10. Who determines that based on what criteria? I'd love to know that policy. She says, if the parent's not affirming, the parent may not be involved in this document. That's the gender support plan. This may be a private conversation. So let's talk personal now, because she is. This may be a private conversation between that trusted adult at the school. Is that adult trusted by the parent? Who is the trusted adult? Define trust, please. This may be a private conversation between that trusted adult at the school and the student about how we keep you safe at home, emotionally and physically. Who's personal? Who's professional? Personally, I'm being professional. What she has done and the, and the policies you have, none of you have spoken out against is a complete de deviation from that, that, that sacred boundary between government and personal lives and privacy, especially of minors. And we're talking about sexuality, sexual identity, and you're not going to divulge that to parents intentionally. And again, she makes over $250,000 a year. Wow, 43%, only 43% of, Glendale Unified, of high, Glendale Unified high schoolers are proficient in math upon graduation, only 65% are proficient in reading, and you pay that much money to institute those policies while you're failing, literally failing, to produce okay. the ag adequate students for the 21st century. Thank you so much. I, I confess I'm a little confused, and I appreciate the argument that, that we've, or discussion that we've been having, but for me, it's a little too conceptual or I don't know, metaphysical or the theological or whatever you want to call it. I want to try to understand what you're asking us to do. Let's take two books that have been much discussed. Um, the first one is called All Boys Aren't Blue. And I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees, and I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass, and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. Close quote. All boys aren't blue. 
The second is a, a, another much discussed book. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Okay. Let me read an excerpt from that. Quote, I got a new strap-on strap harness today. I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Then I want you inside of me. End quote. Now, Mr. Secretary, what are you asking us to do? Are you suggesting that only librarians should decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available to kids? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Tell me what you're saying. Well, uh, first of all, th there's this... Don't give me a speech. Tell me what you're asking will, me to do. With all due respect, Senator, and, uh, the words you spoke are disturbing, especially coming out of your mouth is very disturbing. But I would, I would also tell you that we're not advocating for kids to read porn, to Senator Booker's what point. What are you advocating for? We are advocating for parents, random parents, not to have the ability, under the guise of keeping kids safe, to try and challenge the world view of every single manner on these issues. You're getting conceptual game. What I'm not getting conceptual. Well, I'm yes, saying you that are. Yes, you are. Because you, you, I want to know what you're recommending. It sounds to me like what some of you are saying the librarians should decide who gets to see that book. I'm saying when you're making, when individual parents are allowed to make a decision of what, where that line is and to kill a mockingbird, which involves a rape scene, should that book be pulled from our libraries? I think it becomes a slippery well, slope. I think you ought to think about it a little bit more before you come here. I've thought about if Senator. If you're going to propose something, you ought to be able in 30 seconds to be able to explain what Senator, you're asking us to do. Senator, Ms. Kelly, what do you understand well, let me skip you for a second. Mr. Um, Cameron, tell me what you're, you're proposing. It's pronounced mix. Um, mix? Is that how you, how would you like me to refer to you? Senator, your definition of sexual is synonymous with LGBTQ identity. Library. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you to tell me, you read those two excerpts. Gender Do queer. Do you think that... Are you asking that only librarians and not parents have any say in whether minors can read those books? Is that what you're saying? Genderqueer has never been in my school library, so it's never been banned. Well, suppose it was. Should it be up just to the librarian, or should parents have a say? There should be facilitation of collaboration between students, should parents, parents, have and educators. a say? Parents should be working with students and educators to okay. be making decisions because... Uh, Students right. are and who decides ultimately, the librarian, or do you take a vote, or who takes the vote? Book review committees in the community in my school district. You want a committee to decide? There are committees. Okay. Well, I'm asking you, how do we decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available in the library? What, what would you, if you, were, if you were running things, what would you do? All Boys Aren't Blue, the scene you mentioned, is about sexual abuse. I know what it's about. It's not What erotic. would you do in terms of making the books available? Would you say anybody can see them, or they have to be in a special session? Students who do not read books like All Boys Aren't Blue cannot learn what is appropriate. I understand that. They cannot learn about I understand, but none of you abuse. want to answer my question. You come here and you say censorship is bad, and of course it's bad. But the obvious response is, okay, you heard the books we're talking about. Okay, we're not talking about Catcher in the Rye. So tell me what you want, who gets to decide. And all I've heard is the librarians. And parents have nothing to do with it. And if that's your response, what planet did you just parachute in from? Parents, Senator. Or what country, more appropriately? This is not China. Parents, Senator, with all due respect, parents absolutely have a say. 
my parents were immigrants, came to this country. We never checked out books without our parents seeing what, what books we were reading. They encouraged us to Mr. read Mr. Secretary, I understand this is good for your politics back home. It's got nothing to do with my politics. My bill is passed. Of course it does. It has everything to do with your politics. But you came here with a problem, and I'm trying to understand the solution, and you don't have one. We solved the solution. Other than, we solved other the than, solution other in than to tell us that we don't agree with you, you're on the wrong, we'll be on the wrong side of history. We solved the problem in Illinois. We fixed it because we uh, Well, there are others you make. could work on. Well, that's I, why I'm, I'm here out to of help. Time.